Hello everybody. I got a request the other day to model an airplane propeller. I already told that I will uh, reduce the pace of my tutorials because I'm currently very busy uh, with other things. But And uh, another thing I get a lot of requests and because I cannot fulfill all of them I will pick out the ones which I like most. So if you want to try to do a propeller here it is. Uh, then stop the video now as someone suggested and give it a go. Otherwise let's do it. First I go back to OpenGL, then to my modeling view and I don't want to see this, make a new mesh. Okay, uh, as you can see I have a backdrop item which is a propeller blueprint. If you search for propeller blueprint in Google Pictures, it will be the top uh, picture and I resized it down to uh, 5% and the good thing here is I have some profile cuts through this propeller. I don't really know how to interpret this blueprint. I will uh, do some guesswork and the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, model these curves. Now we can do this in different ways. We could use uh, the pen tool in lines mode. This would give us a bit more control over uh, when we bridge the curves together. But I want to do it with the normal curve tool. Then we already have an idea about how it will look when it is subdivided. So let's start here. I click in here, make it a closed curve. Then here, here. I use three words to define this end. Then two additional words in between here, three again here, and two here, like so. Drop the two, we can use the T key and uh, modify this, but I don't want to bore you. This is why I already have prepared the curves in this mesh here, I select it in polygon mode, control copy, go to my empty mesh, control V and put this in. Now the first thing we must do is uh, we must rotate these curves. So I go to top view Select the first one, E key, control rotate it by 90 degrees. Next. Like so. Back to front view. Now we have these profiles, but they don't look right. I will, uh, let's have a look in the perspective. This would never work. And I rotate these profile curves by mm, 40 degrees. Let's have a other look in the front view. W key and bring this down to 
here maybe 40 was a bit too much but anyway this is how I go so first we have to adjust this so we get this look of the propeller so A key shift A R key and resize it like about so And now the last curve here, I control copy, control V, W key, and bring it to about here, make it smaller, and I slightly rotate it like so, W key again, let's see, like so, we can always change this. Now here we are. Next I will do the middle part, so I use a cylinder, make it 24 edges because I also want to have 24 polygons uh, between these curves. Then I control left, drag this out, make it 100 and put this in the middle, like so. Perspective, let's have a look. Um, this is too big, so I make it smaller, let's say 50%, like so. Then I can select these two polygons, bevel it slightly and delete and in front view delete this half as well. We don't need the backdrop for the time being and let's see if we can connect these together. Sometimes it works when uh, bridging curves and sometimes it doesn't. But the important part here is because we bridge curves together we must tell Modo how many steps we need, which means if I say 23 steps, I will get 24 polygons. So I click in the viewport. No, did not work. So undo it. And then let's do one by one bridge. Now I go to edge mode bridge, bridge, okay, just quickly let's check the background, uh, backdrop, yes looks good. Now we need to connect the propeller with the center part. And first I put two edges in here with symmetry. And if you have seen my water tap tutorial, then you know why I do this. This is to protect the outer edges so we don't have any spiders here. So this is we need 24, 6, we need the top 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I can delete these ones. Let's check, here we have 4, 
14 edges. That means we need another 10. So I select an edge in here and one in here, Alt C, count of 5, but uniform. Now we should have 24 here and 24 here. Let's see what model does with it. That's quite nice. OK, now we need to make this uh, last end here. Front view again. I think I make this a bit smaller. With action center selection, press the P key to make a polygon, go out of subdivision mode, then I can select this polygon, B for bevel, bevel it in, be careful here, this is the most critical part, and then with the polygon still selected, go to polygon quadruple, good, shift up arrow to expand the selection, align the work plane to this selection, let's check where it looks right here. Now I can take a fall off, a radial fall off, bring it out from here, something like this. W key and move this up a bit, like so. Drop the tool, then I add an additional edge in here, so edge add loop, which I have on a hotkey, like so. Let's see, perspective, back to a normal work plane, A key, yes, that looks good. Now, I select this here, up arrow key, shift H, hide everything, go to edge mode, front view, select these two and these two edges, bridge them, Alt C again, with the count of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, then I can use these here, no, W, bring them out a bit, this one, W, just to make it, then vertex mode, W, make it about the same sizes. Uh, then I can deselect these and bridge and P key and select these vertices, W key, like so. Now unhide everything and now I want to mirror this. So first I select all these edges or vertices Go to Vertex, set position 0 on X to make sure this is set to the right position. Then I go to Basic, Center Selected on the Y. Now we are sure we can uh, mirror this, so Duplicate, Mirror, over X, Apply. And this is wrong, of course, because the propeller does not look like this. Make sure you did not check merge vertices, otherwise it will be merged together. Now we have two halves and I can duplicate mirror this one over the Y, apply and then delete. 
the first copy. Now it looks right. Now vertex merge automatic 27 have merged. Yeah, why not? And now if you want to make screw holes in here, then please have a look at my electromotor tutorial or my revolver drum tutorial. There is a technique described how to make screw holes and screws. I make it the lazy way. I just select this up arrow key, go to fall off, radial fall off again, and bring out a radial fall off, 100 by 100, and zero here. Perspective, then W key and bring this out uh, 150, like so. Drop the tool, drop the fall off. By the way, this method of making surfaces, I have another tutorial, it's called making uh, perfect surfaces with any even number of edges. If you want to have another look at this. So, and now we make a fake separation here. So, B for bevel with a round level of 2. Click in the viewport and bevel this, that's way too much, one millimeter. Now I can select the middle one, R key, and on the blue circle, bring this in, shift up arrow, Alt 3 to convert to polygons, M to assign a material, and I call this material seam. Now you could uh, unhide it and give the rest also materials. Unhide, uh, sorry, hide it. M again, call it propeller. Unhide everything. But that's it. I will not texture this. Here is a propeller which I think looks pretty real. So, I'm convinced Mike James, who is a specialist with uh, aviation models, knows a lot more about how to model propellers, but I think this is quite an easy way. Anyway, thanks for watching, take care, and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye-bye.